welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to make a traveling notebook for a team build with Jill. She came up with a great idea for her winning team to keep track of every player that we are helping each week. So I decided to show you how to do it. So this is a 12 by eight and a half and I scored it you can use a ruler if you don't have a scoring board and you would go five and a half six and six and a half if you don't have a bone folder you can also use a pen or a paper clip just to score it lightly okay so we're going to do that with two sheets one for the inside and one for the outside. And if you have a double-sided uh, paper, you will only need one. Okay? So, this is going to be my front cover here. And I printed out this one. Team Bill with Geo. YouTube Records Book 2020. So, let me peel it off. And I'm not the greatest at lining up stuff, so be patient with me. Let's see, can we get it in there without cutting up too much? Sticky paper, I tell you. Ooh, doggy. I bet you y'all cleansing just like I am. Please don't tear. Let's try to get it a little bit better. It's coming up. It's coming. Let's see here. That looks good. Nope. I'm just going to take it on off. And let's try it again. Sticky paper, sticky paper. It's almost off. I tell you, this is some good adhesive. Okay, let's try it one more time. And let's get it corner to corner. See what that worked this time. Okay, that looks better. I am not the best of laying it flat but it looks good okay so now I'm gonna use some glue just enough to hold it together Let's try it again. Once again, I'm not the best of lining stuff up. Let's 
Alrighty. Now I'm going to put it in here. This is a size 12 by 12. I'm going to put it all the way to the edge. Make sure everything is down as good as I can get before I sell it up. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to put it to the back. Trying to stay in frame. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to cut around the sides here. I'm going to cut around here with my chopping bud because I cannot cut straight, okay? <laughs> Gonna move this out the way. Put this here. Kind of eyeball it. You have to leave room or it will come loose. Just a tad more.
So next, I'm going to show you how to push the holes in. Okay, now we are going to punch hoses in one, two, and three, the center, and one, two, and three. Okay, and then once we punch the holes, we're going to thread it. Okay, so I'm going to take my cracker doll, let's find the smallest hole. And uh, I'm going to eyeball it. Make sure I get the small one. Right on the line. You have three lines, and you're going to put it right on the line. I should have had cut it this a uh, little bit bigger for my book. So I'm going to go to the end. But when you do it, make sure it's... Uh, the perfect size for your book just eyeball it it don't have to be perfect but good enough Okay, and for the center part, what I'm going to use is um, this nail here. And I'm going to also punch it with a hammer. I'll be right back. So you use the nail to punch the hole all the way through. Or as you have any kind of punching tool, you can punch a hole in there. And so you have three at the top, three at the bottom, and your center. Now you can use any kind of elastic, thick or thin. Or you can use a ribbon. Or if you don't have that at the house, you could use a hairband. Okay. So those are your three options. I'm going to use the elastic here. And um, what you do, you go take it, start at the bottom, put your way up to the top. Then you go to the center and you pull it through to the bottom. Trying to get a little leeway at the bottom here. Should be good enough. I'm gonna hold it down. And I'll show you in a minute what I'm holding it down for. way here take it this way here you gonna bring it to the center here 
bring it down. And then this part here is the first one. I'm going to bring it to the center here. Okay. And now, what I'm going to do is just tie it into a knot. Make sure it's not... I like mine's kind of loose, but you can make it uh, kind of tight, but not real, real tight. You never want to make it real tight because then it will budge up like that. So, just kind of loose. Not too loose and not too tight. I'm going to turn this to make sure. Better safe than sorry. Alright. And then uh, you can cut the ends. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you some more options also. When you are done with your book, you could just uh, slide your books in there. But, and I'm, I was going to show you how um, I made some inserts. Now, you could also use these because it's guys in our group. So, a lot of guys don't want to be looking, have their front cover looking like that, right? So, um, I made some covers, some inserts for guys, too, that you can find on the internet. And, um, this is how the outside will look. And you could do, um, uh, a fold-out. Let me show you. You could do a fold-out where you could put your pockets here and your pockets there. I will show you how. And you could also just put your regular books on the inside. Up here I'm going to show you but first we're gonna put our centerpiece on and what I mean about a centerpiece is this right here you could put a centerpiece okay and uh, take it off just to hold your book uh, better okay so that's what I mean about a centerpiece so let's get started with that okay what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna Okay, so what you need is a thread and the way how you measure you just take it from one end and wrap it around so that will be the length that you would need okay and you don't have to put a charm on it but I am so I'm going to loop it through here get this in and the centerpiece that you just made a hole through you're going to put it in there. Move some of these out the way if I can see. Get a longer piece. I'm going to tie it in a knot. It's very fun and fast to make a travel notebook. Don't take long at all to make. Need two knots, so I'm going to get that out of there. And I'm going to cut it. are done with that there you go okay outside of the book and you can wrap it around you got your chain on the side I like mine's on the side but you can make it in the wherever you would like you can move all over the place here to the front 
like mine's over to the side but okay now let me show you once again of Well, I can show you how to you open a book in the center center of your book or you can make your own pages that's use any kind of um, typing papers regular typing paper here you could just um, make your own sheet you can use corner, corner punches to and make as many as you would like but I just wanted a book with lines in it and I love these images and you just slide it in here okay just open it to the center You slide it in. Now I want to show you how to make some inserts. Like I said with these cards here, you can make all kinds of inserts inside of your book. And you can put how many as you would like in here too. I like the ones with the pockets and you can fold out. You can put a picture, whatever you want in here, whatever you want here, another picture. Pockets and pockets, and you can also make um, a fold out, like I was telling you earlier, that I could show you how to make. I love these kind of cards here. So you can make a whole bunch of things with with it. Okay, so. And once again, this is how it folds up with the book, okay? So, stay tuned to see how I make the fold out. Okay, this one right here is 4.5 by 7 and 7.8. Seven you need three panels, okay? You just score it each 4.5 by 7.8. Right here. I use the uh, file folder for this so we're going to uh, make a pocket it's very easy to make a pocket you take a, a sheet and you score it you make it four going this way and five and three eighths going this way get scored at one and one eighth and four and seven eighths and this here is just under a half an inch okay and what you do you just put some glue here and here just a little bit more here Just stick it down. And you could decorate it. You could put pattern paper or anything else you want to on here. I'm just giving you an example. On your front cover, you can put this here. Try to get it right.
this one. You take a four by four sheet of paper and you're going to score it from one end to the other. And you will have a half an inch on each end to make your hinges again. This will make another pocket. And you can insert anything in here and here and another one that you could also do and another one that you could do is this one is seven and seven eighth by eleven and one fourth, and it's a very simple one. Also, you can also put this in your machine here and make it like your front cover. If you like, if you run it through the machine this way, and you could take it out and then you just cut just at the top of each one, and then you can still insert. But I'm not going to do it on this episode. So I'm just going to give you the basic. So once again, you take your a regular cardstock or a two-sided. Like I have here. <clears throat> and you're going to put it to here, okay? To 11 and a half. And then you're going to score it. You're going to use the whole sheet of the 12 going down. So, and throw that away. Okay, now this sheet here that we are going to use. Right, we're going to use this whole sheet here. Okay, and we're going to score it right here and that is eight and a quarter okay so I'm gonna score that eight and a quarter very simple and the only thing you're gonna do there just fold it You also gonna fold it in half, okay? Make sure it's even. Just fold it in half and then you're gonna take your scissors to get this cut right here you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna just cut it like in an angle okay all the way to that line that's it you go throw this away now you have your outside and your inside but and I'm gonna put um let me see what side do I want I want this side here I don't want this side. okay I'm gonna use this side so I'm gonna stick them down it said it's the baddest team with geo 
Okay, so we're gonna, because we are the baddest team. So we are going to stick them down for the front. Okay, and then we're gonna open it up here. Just gonna put some glue here some glue here that's it and you're gonna close it up that's your pocket very simple now if you're gonna put something bulky in here it would be best if you put it like a little hinge in there just uh, give it a little gap and what you do you just use just take a half a, a half an inch, one inch, and have it um, cut it in half. Well, score it in half. I mean, not cut. And you fold it, and you will put it on each end, and it will give you if you want a whole bunch in here, it will give you that little space, the gap. Okay. But in my case, I'm just gonna have this part one or two sheets in there, so this is just fine. And that's our cover. And I think I want to put this guy in here too. Well, he probably looked good on the back end. So when I flip it over, all right. So, how do you put them into your book that you just made? Okay, well, you just open your book up. Uh, you can arrange it any way you want to. I'm going to put mine in the middle. But you, uh, you can put them in the front, back, or whatever. You could just move your books around. But I'm going to put mine right in the center. You just lift it up like this. And just slide them in. This one here that we just did. We're gonna just take it from the back in here. We're gonna lift this one up and stick it in. There you go. All your books. Very simple and fun to do. Now you can keep all your notes. You get pockets. Plenty of notes to write on. Ready to get busy with your YouTube channels. So once again, this is a great record keeper for your YouTube Team Bill with Geo. Thank you. Do you know about us? Do you know about us? We're the baddest team with us by late. That's Team Bill and Geo. We stick together like a playlist. We're the A listers, not the B listers. We are loyal. We are wise.